Good afternoon, this is Colton with Build Brothers Roofing and Solar doing a digital roof inspection here for a customer in Bonita. Uh, first thing we like to do on these digital roof inspections is ID the um, actual roofing material we have. We have a composite wood shake uh, material that's obviously um, not an ideal manufactured material for roofing, uh, but it does give kind of that wood shake look to these homes um, in Old Bonita area. Uh, we can see a lot of mastic repairs going on where cracks have been made. Um, obviously there's been some roof tune up to this roof, but no new roofing, a couple replacement shingles and stuff like that. Um, right here we can see a flat section surrounding the um, chimney area. Um, I did point out potentially some chimney worry with these cracks right here for the homeowner. Uh, sometimes they, those can lead to leaks. Uh, additionally, we can see a torch down material used right here uh, around the chimney flashing, which it looks to be in good condition. Uh, torch down is a flat roofing material uh, that we typically don't use anymore. We use a t flat TPO roof material. It lasts longer, it's less prone to human air, um, and it also was designed as an interior liner for pools. Uh, so it's very waterproof material. Uh, it's less prone to human air, um, and uh, it's ideally what we would like to use. Now when torch down gets old, we can kind of see it start to pull away from the side of the roof right here. Uh, it's basically just a big asphalt shingle. So it's black, it absorbs light. We can see it start to pull away from the metal flashing. What that does is it keeps water ponding on the roof. We can see a little discoloration right here where ponding has happened. Uh, not so bad in this section per se, but uh, the main sections that we worried about are the actual flat sections over here where we have huge active leaks. Now in this flat roof section right here, we have uh, the same torch down material looks like you can even see a little bit of a mastic repair on the edge right there like somebody did come out and try and make a repair on that but it looks to just be structurally ponding because of that natural pullback pullback that happens once it gets baked in the sun for a long period of time so we can still see water in the roof and that's never a good sign because what that means is eventually the water will get in ponding is something that leads to uh, roof leaks there was actually i can, can confirm that it was a repair done across the edge right there to try and mitigate that problem. We can see the same repair done over on that section right here um, where they try to put mastic on the end because the water basically is ponding and causing these roof, uh, roof leak areas. Um, so I counting one section, two section, three section, four section, five flat roof sections where we put actually the TPO material which I will show the homeowner um, and provide a demo video. Uh, that is basically a longer lasting flat roofing material and keeps water off the roof also we will make sure there's a, a, a you know a, a aggravated slope that goes off so the water can get off cleanly um, as far as health of this roof um, it is definitely past its life expectancy it is uh, definitely time to upgrade and uh, take off this composite wood shake uh, you know look at the underlayment take off all that bad tar paper that's on there upgrade that upper underlayment to a synthetic underlayment and then uh, obviously do any wood repair we have some awnings over on the side that are very worrisome over there um, but obviously nothing's out of our capabilities as a company i do even see some repairs done above that skylight right there um, skylights are another sensitive area and we do have this turret that is going to be something that will uh um, definitely be a little bit more intricate for us uh, but something that we can handle um, I'll go ahead and uh, show all this information to the homeowner uh, we'll gather some more information and we'll start the quoting process thank you bye